Hello and welcome back to the Habituation and Relief Podcast with Tinnitus Coach Frieda. My name is Tinnitus Coach Frieda and in today's episode I'm going to get into a science-backed reveal of the German guidelines to tinnitus treatment. And be surprised or not, um, you've heard on this channel me talking critically about sound therapy and masking and no wonder in the German guidelines, and we will explicitly get into that in this episode today, there is no specific mention or there is a specific mention that sound therapy and masking are not recommended for long-term tinnitus habituation and treatment. So welcome everyone to this episode where I am basically sharing what I have recorded for a YouTube video. It's been a very busy week. Um, my dad came to visit and that uh, yeah, revealed to be a very difficult thing. Uh, my dad and I have quite a bit of a difficult relationship over the years and we haven't really managed to resolve anything. If at all, I think it got a little bit worse. Um, but that's not for you guys to be bored with. Um, I want to help you get habituated, feel better with your tinnitus. Um, yesterday we had a fantastic event inside mytinnitus.club, another accountability check-in, a little bit with a new structure. Um, we did a lot of breakout rooms, five breakout rooms, and people talked what um, their current struggles with their tinnitus were, what their current goals were, and I want to share one particular mention of a recent success story that we had in the club, which I really enjoyed and liked. Um, one member, she is a teacher in the US, she said uh, she's able to be present in her life. Just a few weeks ago, her anxiety was controlling her life. She couldn't function, let alone do her job. Just yesterday, she told her husband that she went an entire class period where she didn't hear her ringing. Of course, when you realize I heard it, uh, there it was again. But if you had told me three weeks ago I'd be able to teach and be there for my students without having anxiety or a panic attack, I would have thought you were crazy. Everything I've learned here has been an absolute lifesaver for me. I know I still have a long way to go, but it's possible and I'm not about to give up now. So yeah, that was a quick excerpt from uh, one of our success story spaces inside my club. And if you want to learn how to habituate, do that together with people from all over the world, come together in a positive and safe space to learn how you can implement some of the tools that are explicitly mentioned and recommended in the German guidelines for treatment of chronic tinnitus, then join us at www.mytinnitus.club for a seven day free trial. But today we're deconstructing a little bit why sound therapy masking, tinnitus retraining therapy and some of the other tools are not explicitly mentioned in the German uh, guidelines for chronic tinnitus treatment. These guidelines are given out um, from the German ENT Association and I think for Germany being quite a renowned medical standpoint, uh, especially also in tinnitus research, we have a big tinnitus research center here, uh, a couple of them actually. I think it is very important to say that these guidelines are quite valid. So the only thing I want to say is thank you for your continued support. Um, it really means the world to me that you subscribe and leave us a positive review on Apple or Spotify or wherever you tuning in from. It really helps me grow my podcast, more people to discover the content that I'm making. And I really want to tell you that I appreciate this. Um, I also wanted to mention that uh, you have listened in the last episode that uh, Tinny Sooth was there. Uh, if you're still thinking of getting a Tinny Sooth device, then you can use the code uh, FRIEDER10, F-R-I-E-D-E-R-10 at checkout on the Tinny Sooth website. Um, they just gave me this code so you guys can benefit from the code FRIEDER10 if you still want to get the Tinny Sooth device. All right. I would say let's jump into the episode, discuss the German guidelines for treatment of chronic tinnitus. I wish you a lot of fun. Of course, um, all the resources are in the show notes for you to check out um, or go to www.habituate.online to access all of that as well. Welcome to the, to the podcast. Hello and welcome to the Outering Tinnitus podcast. This is Frida and I'm your host. 
This podcast is all about the tenets of science and what you can do to live a better life despite the ringing. Yes, so welcome back to the channel. Thank you all for joining. Um, if you're looking for help with your tinnitus, I will have a link uh, below that includes, for example, my free four day email course that you can sign up to. Then you get a free email for four days that will help you start to deal with your tinnitus. I have a tinnitus digital relief package that you can purchase for $9.99. Um, you can get access for free to our club for seven days and uh, check out our weekly coaching sessions, etc. And we'd be super happy to help and support. Of course, I also do one-on-one -on -one coaching. I have a waiting list to which you can subscribe as well. All those links are below in the show notes. Um, really, really important to say, um, really, really important to say that chronic tinnitus is defined as persistent ringing that is lasting for more than three months in a person, right? So only after three months, tinnitus is considered to be chronic and there are two types of tinnitus, objective and subjective tinnitus. Um, objective tinnitus is very rare. It's caused due to um, uh, vascular or muscular issues and it's quite a rare form. And then subjective tinnitus is the most common type being mostly uh, linked to hearing loss um, or other factors. Um, the German official treatment guideline for chronic tinnitus as it stands um, currently, and I will link uh, to it uh, as well. It is in German, but uh, uh, everything that I am summarizing, I have translated into English, uh, the major point. Um, the recommended parts um, are threefold. And the first one is tinnitus counseling, right? So in a, in a search that uh, what I'm doing with coaching, for example, um, the guidelines uh, really stress that understanding tinnitus and managing the emotional response to tinnitus is absolutely critical for long-term success and habituation. The second part is the doctors are really encouraged to reassure patients and to explain habituation, which is an absolute key factor to improvement, that they can understand that they can live with tinnitus without being bothered by it. And the second part is cognitive behavior therapy and acceptance and commitment therapy, both of which we offer in a club. But we go one step further. We don't only offer cognitive behavior therapy and acceptance and commitment therapy. We also offer a weekly coaching session where you connect with people from all over the world who are going through exactly the same and you get personal insights and tips on how to apply everything that we have inside our club onto your personal tinnitus journey. So CBT is one of the most effective treatments when it comes to reducing tinnitus distress and as an addition, accepting um, acceptance and commitment therapy as we, or I perceive it as coach, as the most important thing is an extension of cognitive behavior therapy and is really helpful for managing the emotional distress and changing the way your brain reacts to tinnitus so it can relearn that it has nothing to fear from tinnitus and that tinnitus can be there but it can go into the background and you have nothing to fear from the existence of your tinnitus, which is when you can habituate. And the third part uh, that the guidelines mentioned, if and only if you have hearing loss that needs to be treated, are hearing aids indicated, right? So if you have measurable hearing loss, hearing aids, this is what the wording says, hearing aids can help by reducing the contrast between tinnitus and silence. However, and this is now where it gets really interesting, the guidelines, the S3 main guideline for the treatment of chronic tinnitus from the German ENT Association, from the German ENT Association, mentions sound therapy and masking as limited or unproven therapy. And let me tell you why. Sound therapy can offer temporary relief, it says in the guidelines, but the guidelines emphasize that it does not cure tinnitus. And in the long run, it might be detrimental to the habituation process as the underlying emotional distress is not treated. Using background noise constantly may therefore prevent habituation. This is what it says in the German guidelines. About tinnitus retraining therapy, it says, TRT is mentioned, but only as a part of a broader treatment plan combining CBT act with TRT. And long-term commitment, 12 plus month, is required for potential effectiveness, but the evidence is quite weak. I'm sorry, I'm just saying what the German guideline on the treatment of chronic tinnitus says. That's all I'm doing here, right? 
and you're welcome to read it and I'm welcome to set you a, send you a, a short summary. In the club, the people will get a short summary. What really is not recommended are medications. I mean, of course, make sure to talk to your individual GP. I am not, not giving out any medical advice. I'm just mentioning what it says in the German guidelines for the treatment of chronic tinnitus. It says antidepressants, beta histine, ginkgo biloba, etc. Uh, that there is no solid evidence that any medication directly improves tinnitus. Well, it can, of course, improve the effect of, for example, a depressive disorder associated with the onset of tinnitus. It cannot directly influence the tinnitus. Certain medications might help with anxiety or depression, but don't treat tinnitus itself. So while they treat tinnitus itself, not, not treat tinnitus itself, they treat the underlying anxiety or depression, which will have to be managed most effectively with CBT or ACT. Neuromodulation or electrical stimulation. Techniques like transcranial magnetic stimulation, TMS have weak evidence and are not recommended. Supplements, zinc, melatonin, herbal remedies. There is little research proving that supplements have a meaningful effect on tinnitus. Little. Not none, but little. And now I want to get into what this means for you, how my personal story and our club, mytinnitus.club, can help you with your individual habituation journey. If you want real guidance on habituation, and not only masking it or being charged thousands of dollars for hearing aids that you don't even need, then you should be checking out mytinnitus.club. So I'll put the link here. It's www.mytinnitus.club, where we have courses, weekly coaching, and a supportive community. Um, I, I built this because I know how much people can struggle with tinnitus, and I need to move my camera a little bit so I can show you my screen. I, I built this so you guys can, you know, get individual advice on habituation. So right now I just uploaded um, the accountability session from last night. We did breakout sessions and everyone gets to talk about what their goals are for the next two weeks. And then in the end we come together again and we discuss how the meeting went and we have a meeting every single Thursday. Within our premium membership, you get access to a two day retreat um, that completely explains how CBT and ACT function for absolute beginners, the first day is two and a half hours, the second day is nearly three hours. You do it in your own time, whenever you feel comfortable. Then there's an eight weeks course, also included in the premium membership, where I tell you from start to end in eight weeks of what you can implement from the tools that we have in order to get better. My mouth is a little bit dry, Excuse, excusez-moi. And uh, this is alcohol-free beer, just so you know, I'm not having an actual an actual uh, beer with alcohol while shooting a video. It says alcohol free on there. So I am having alcohol free beer also because it is in the morning. Um, excuse me. Um, and also what is important, of course, we have uh, meet weekly events that is quite nice. This month we are focusing on tinnitus and finding joy. That is really helpful for habituation as well. Of course, you can book additional coaching with a 10% discount when you are signing up to the club. You get, for example, access to our daily success stories where the members say everything that has happened for them um, and being able to you know, be present in her life. For example, here Ariel says uh, anxiety was controlling her life. She couldn't do her job. Um, and yesterday she went an entire class period without hearing her ringing. Um, but if you had told me three weeks ago I'd be able to teach and be there for my students without having anxiety or panic attack, I, I would have thought you were crazy. Everything that I've learned here has been a lifesaver for me. I know I still have a long way to go, but it's possible. I'm not, I'm not about to give up now. Boom. Yes, and we created that. So all of these spaces, everything here is available for you inside mytinnitus.club. So check it out for a free four-day trial if you want to. So also... The one final thing that I want to tell you is these are guidelines. Yeah? The guidelines are general guidelines which can and should be helpful for many people, but it cannot replace going to the ENT or talking to your GP about individual treatment plans, right? Or to your audiologist to check out whether you really have a hearing loss and you could be potentially benefiting from a hearing aid. 
And um, Germany is at the forefront of tinnitus management. I'm working as a consultant also for a network called Network Hearing Health, and we are devoted to bringing the best uh, hearing and tinnitus care to all the people in Germany, and eventually maybe also to people worldwide in order to really say audiological care has to be at the forefront. And the most important thing is that people are educated about this condition. And, you know, get my free four day email uh, course. It's absolutely for free. It's not pushy. It is in my interest as someone who's been born deaf and has really suffered with tinnitus myself. Um, you know, I want to guide you on your habituation journey. Um, I have limited spots in my coaching but mytinnitus.club is 24 seven for everyone. We have a buddy system that you get paired with another person who's been there for longer and who can help and support you to find your way. And, you know, I'm, I'm grateful that I get to do this. It's been taking me a long time to grow this uh, channel and my reach to a place where I can tell, I can really be honest about, you know, what really works for tinnitus and what maybe doesn't and where, you know, you spend a lot of money and in the end you are still disappointed from everything that you have been getting out of it. So um, yeah, I thank you very much for watching today. Um, next week we have another fun video coming up. So um, I'm gonna go and head off into the weekend. Maybe, or no, probably not with a real beer because I'm not drinking any alcohol for one year already. Um, and yeah, I see you inside mytinnitus.club. If you have any questions, leave them for me below in the comments. Thank you for checking out my resources that I have in the links below and I'll see you next week. Goodbye. Yeah, thank you very much guys for tuning into this week's of the Tinnitus Habituation and Relief Podcast with Coach Frieda. I am Coach Frieda and from snowy Berlin in Germany, when I look out the window, it is snowing a lot. We had 10 centimeters of snow. That is crazy, a crazy amount of snow for a city like Berlin. Um, so I wish you guys a happy and relaxing weekend. Um, I released this podcast episode because it was very difficult for me this week to create something in addition to the YouTube video, but I still hope that this is really, really beneficial for you, that I um, didn't uh, have the opportunity to just discuss it without, um, you know, uh, uh, taking just a video and turning it into a podcast episode. But I hope that's fine for you. Um, we have a lot more content for you. You know where to find it at www.mytinnitus.club. You can uh, join and sign up for a free seven-day trial. And we've explicitly mentioned how CBT and ACT help you to habituate to your tinnitus and reduce your tinnitus to stress in the long run. So we'd be super ha happy and grateful to help you out there. Uh, thank you as usual. Um, if you go to uh, www.habituate.online, you will find my free four-day course. You will find a link to my YouTube channel um, if you want to see the video version of this <laughs> and uh, uh, the funny thumbnail that I did with a little German flag and a alcohol-free beer in my hand. <laughs> um, I wish you a happy and successful and relaxing weekend with family and friends and wherever you are. Please keep your head up. Everything's going to be okay. You will habituate to your tinnitus. You will get better and we will help you do that. Alrighty, I'll hear you in the next episode next week. Goodbye. Thank you very much for listening to the Outering Tinnitus podcast. I am looking forward to also welcome you on my website at outringtinnitus.com or if you have any questions, please mail to frida at outringtinnitus.com. See you next time.